Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Division video. And in today's video, we are talking about weapons. More specifically, an answer to the question, what are the best weapons you can use from a DPS standpoint in each of the main weapon archetypes for PvE? Since patch 1.4 dropped, some of the previously dominant weapons have been nerfed, meanwhile some of the other lesser used options have been buffed, and as such, the meta has shifted, and there are many more varied options than before. In fact, there are loads of good weapon options right now, and you can get away with using a very broad selection of weapons. However, for those of you that are perhaps limited with time, and want to know where to consolidate your efforts, then here are the top 5 best DPS weapons for PvE. Of course, if you do enjoy this and you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated, and comment down below and let me know what weapons you are currently running with, perhaps you have a different opinion on what's top. Either way, let me know. I will also be doing one of these for PvP, so do expect that at some point soon. Anyway, enough wasting time, let's begin. In at number 5 we have the PP-19. Once upon a time, SMGs were the dominant force in the division. If you weren't using one, then you were basically doing yourself a disservice. However, now that's flipped upside down. SMGs are still great, no doubt about it, but they are also no longer the best, most dominant archetype on the block. However, that being said, if you're looking to go down the SMG route, then in PvE you're going to want to lean towards the PP-19. If for some reason you don't like this option, then the MP5 is your next best bet, but that is truth be told more geared towards PvP, and as such that's a conversation for the other video. See in PvE, what you're looking for is sustained damage, i.e. damage over a long period of time. Enemies are typically more spongy and tanky than humans are, therefore requiring more bullets, and as such, sustained damage is what you want in these sorts of environments. The PP-19 has a large magazine, considerably so if you pair it with an extended magazine mod, plus the talent that rolls on the PP-19s by default, Hurried, increases your reload speed following critical hits, which of course reduces your downtime, increasing your DPS. So all in all, a pretty solid weapon. Then moving over to number 4, this time turning our attention to shotguns. You have your SASGs, or sausages as some people like to call them. These are semi-automatic shotties with a fast rate of fire and a relatively decent magazine size. When you factor in the stagger bonus that was added to shotguns, they already have great utility in PvE for dealing with rushers or anyone invading your personal space. But thanks to the rapid fire nature and the magazine size, they are also one of the highest DPS PvE shotgun options and again, great for outputting sustained damage. Then moving over to number 3, this time turning our attention to assault rifles, your best PvE option for DPS would be the G36s. Despite being nerfed shortly after they were added to the game, the G36s still remain one of the strongest assault rifle options in game right now. The only other real competitor that everyone's kind of raving about right now is the LVOAC, but again that is more favourable for PvP, so we'll save that for a future conversation. The G36 has high base damage, a relatively fast rate of fire, and what's more, it is super stable even without mods, so it's very easy to manage the recoil, in turn making it easier to aim for the headshots, which are quite obviously very important for DPS. Furthermore, assault rifles also have the enemy armor damage bonus, which makes them an instant win in PvE, especially for dealing with some of the more tanky heavy units. Then in at number 2, this time in the marksman rifle category, you have your Scar H variants. Yes, you heard me correctly, those marksman rifles that people used to laugh at in patch 1.3 are now actually the best PvE marksman rifles from a DPS standpoint. Also to be clear, Scar H variants include the military Scar H, the police MK17 and the SOCOM MK20 SSR. They are all the large magazine, high-ish rate of fire marksman rifles. And the reason they are so good goes back to what I spoke about at the beginning sustained damage. With an extended mag you can easily get upwards of 30 bullets in one of these things. I actually bought the Police MK17 that is on sale this week in the terminal. It comes with Prepared and Brutal and I swapped out the third talent for Deadly, but with my mods on this has 38 rounds. And while yes you do still need to pace your shots to deal with the expanding reticle, you can still put out some great damage with this over a long period of time, much longer than say that of the SVD or any other marksman rifle for that matter. Of course, don't get me wrong, the SVD is an amazing marksman rifle, but again, we're going to speak about that one in the PvP video. And then finally, in at number one, you have, well, actually there are two options. Ideally, I would say the Hungry Hog, which is the named variant of the M60. However, if you can't get a Hungry Hog, then the M60 light machine gun is also one of the strongest sustained DPS weapons in the game right now, therefore making it great for PvE. 
Also, when you factor in the damage bonus to targets out of cover that all LMGs have, then you have a nice boost on top, especially when you consider that most of your engagements do in fact involve shooting enemies out of cover. Now, I actually have one of the old Hungry Hogs on Xbox, but seeing as I am leveling my PC character, right now I have not been lucky enough to find one, so I am actually running with a pretty nice M60 E4. However, the reason the Hungry Hog is so good over the regular M60s is that for some reason, it has abnormally high base damage. I'm going to hazard a guess that Massive did this to compensate for the fact that right now, named weapons just are not that interesting from a talent point of view, at least for the most part. So by amping up the base damage, they can at least make them a slightly more viable pick. If you're after a Hungry Hog, then they do drop from bosses in the Dark Zone, and I've heard they can also drop with different perks. So in short, if you can get one, then it is basically the best weapon you can have in the game right now from a sheer damage numbers point of view and that actually applies to both PvE and PvP. But again, as mentioned, if you can't get one, then you can instead default to an M60 which is still one of the best options right now. Now finally, before I wrap up this video, as a passing note, I want to quickly throw out some talent recommendations. I'm not going to go over them per weapon for now. If that is something you'd like to see, then perhaps I can do that later. But generally speaking for PvE, your options will always fall into two categories. DPS and Utility. And while this video is focused on the top PvE DPS options, I do still always recommend carrying a mix of DPS and Utility talents into PvE. Having said that, recommendations under the DPS side of things would be destructive, simply because armor accounts for a large portion of an enemy's health in PvE, so having a talent to deal with that is great. Ferocious gives you an additional 10% damage to elite named enemies, which are typically the most tanky ones that you're going to have to deal with. Prepared and responsive are great, obviously you don't use them together, but one of them offers a damage boost when you are within 10 meters of the target, the other one when you are more than 30 meters away, so it goes without saying that something like an SMG or even an LMG would be nice with responsive, meanwhile a marksman rifle would benefit from prepared. And then of course following that you have the old faithfuls like deadly and brutal which offer great DPS options, truth be told not as great as before, but they are still a good option to consider. And then under the utility side of things, Predatory and Skilled are two killer talents. Predatory grants 35% health regeneration over 35 seconds, which is especially good when soloing. And Skilled is a talent that I always rave about, but it increases signature skill resources on headshot kills. Meaning, with only a few kills, you can get your signature skill back. Again, very useful in PvE. There are of course other options too, but those are a few good picks that you definitely can't go wrong with. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. Those are the top five DPS weapons for PvE in the Division Patch 1.4 right now. Sure, there's room for personal preference, but as numbers go, if you grab one of those options, you cannot go wrong. If you have any questions, by all means, drop them down below. But for the time being, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.